How's work? Uh, it's like if Amazon did drive through. Oh god! No. Only like ten times as shit. Uh, People wait, buying essential hammers. I thought you were gonna have time off. Uh, that potentially starting Monday. Okay. Don't know. Depends if I get furloughed or not. We don't know. Oh, yet. I thought you could choose. They've asked me if I would. If they've asked me of my preference, however, that may not be binding. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Well, mm. you're open. God, yeah, he's open because, yeah. oh my God. So, is the other option to furlough, stay at work, or get sacked? Uh, so, if you get furloughed, you're away with 80% pay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you do not feel comfortable working, you can go on leave without pay. Okay. Or you can keep working. Right. Bit of shit. Yeah. Hmm. And Wait. it's... I mean, uh, I'm still at work, um, so I, I mean... <laughs> uh, yeah, but you get to work from home, there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can I'm you do that? Just, just take all the warehouse stuff home with you, and then bring it back in when you need to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> just take the warehouse home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think there's legal terms about me taking the kids from school home. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I think I, I'm, I kind of got to go in. <laughs> is, it, uh, is that employed that you clean the kids? <laughs> <laughs> that, well, cleaning's half my job. I am, I am an SMSA as well. <laughs> That's true. I love that, for, that, um, that title, SMSA. 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 What does that stand for? Senior uh, Management Something Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> or... School Mills Supervisory Assistant. Yeah, I could think. be that. Could be that. <laughs> yeah, one of those sounds way cooler than the other. <laughs> um, su- Superman. Seriously, all right. <laughs> <laughs> super mega, super awesome. Yes. <laughs> uh, chocolatey photo. Chocolatey photo. See me. Chocolatey suckle. coated fudge. Super <laughs> something. See super me. Suckle. Wait, fudge hang on. It's not coated. that. <laughs> super special chocolate you think we are a awesome room? super re- mega card <laughs> yes here it is the blue eyes white dragon I finished work at 4 o'clock came home and did an X-Wing game until about 6 yeah and I'm just sort of uh, waiting for a bit of free time so I can go and play some more Assassin's Creed Unity and try and enjoy that <laughs> it's very much a um, I'm, I love the mindset with Assassin's Creed Unity at the moment where it's like is this actually going to get fun like <laughs> it's t- do I keep playing or do I just watch a, like a long play of it? You know, because mm. it, it's that... it's okay. It's the one set in revolutionary France. I haven't played that one. No, it's like it's. I can see that it's a good game underneath, but it just feels so clunky. You know, that the free running mechanics haven't quite gotten there. Free uh, running. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. Just like you've got feel the rhythm, two separate feel the ride. <laughs> Get on up, it's Bob's that time. Cool, free running. So. <laughs> I know. It's like tiny, because it's the first one that they did on the new gen consoles. So it's very much a, this is very, very clunky compared to the smoothness and wonder that is Assassin's Creed 4. Is this the, bug, the really buggy one? Like the one that Unity, has all the fun yeah. <laughs> However, it has been patched significantly since then. Okay, it is actually awesome. playable now. If you had an Xbox One, I'd let you borrow it, but... Uh, nah, we sold ours. <laughs> yep, which is a shame. Who did you sell it to, Rich? No, I got mine uh, from CEX. We yeah. sold it to Kex. No, got mine from the game. I, we need the money. Actually, I sold my original Xbox One to CEX, and the second one got bought for me by persons who shall not be named. Oh. Mm-hmm. Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> We should, I we should would name rather, that now. I would <laughs> rather be friends with Voldemort. <laughs> yeah. At least he was up front <laughs> about being a dick. <laughs> Plus, have you true. seen how he dances? Exactly. <laughs> he has got the flounce going. He's got know. a lovely laugh. <laughs> 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 this never fails to make me giggle, that. <laughs> uh, um, so...
Hello, welcome back to Inaudible, the oh. podcast that's impossible <laughs> to listen to. Because uh, we never have a, a, a thing in the right place. No. <laughs> oh. Story of my life? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's week, whatever week it is, of lockdown. And week X. All through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Um, I've washed my hands so many times I can see bone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting dry knuckles at this point. Yep, same. Yeah. I feel like mine are going to be worse than, like, yours, Alex. Oh, yeah, you, you, have, you definitely you have to wash your hands, like, every, like, ten minutes of it. Well, I'm wearing gloves for most of it. Okay, that's that doesn't help. Because they just smell uh-huh. like rubber now. Uh. <laughs> yeah. It's like, the, it's just, it's horrible. <laughs> Amy's work gave them gloves and masks. Yeah. I think, that, yeah, yeah, they gave them gloves and masks to... Yeah, we got we got gloves and masks as well, but it's just Oscar. like, what's the fucking point? Mm. You know, it's supposed to be a two meter distance rule, but nobody's fucking applying to it because you can't. Mm. No, exactly. And again, I have seen some shops apply it. Like Tesco's been very good at applying like a two distance rule when you're like waiting to go in the store. They're only yeah. allowing like a few people in at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So See, little are doing that. And so they've got like the masking tape outside the door for the queue, yeah. so you're at the right distance, and they got it by the checkouts as well. But then you mm. you walk around the shop, and people are just stopping with their trolleys taking up half field, and they're just stood there looking. And like I yeah, was just, like, I, oh my I'm, God. just I'm just I was stood there just looking at them. I think because I've got my headphones in, I'm not going to start. <laughs> I'm not going to stop my podcast just for them. I'm just looking at them, going or thinking, what the fuck are you doing? Where do you think I'm going? <laughs> What's the Two point? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like when we had to go to Tesco the other day to grab a sink, and um, literally, like, we were on the aisle. And whenever people came down, like Amy would, because I would, be, you know, we'd like, move to the side so people would go past. And it's like, you're not mm. paying attention, like two meters. That's why the tape is on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Follow the tape. Like, in, in my work, you physically can't do that. Ah. Uh. Because the aisles where we store all the, the, the pick orders. <laughs> because everyone who shops there is two half. meters wide. <laughs> well. <laughs> It's an easy joke there, but I'm not going to take it. Um, <laughs> but it's the, the aisles where we store everything are a metre and a half wide. Oh. Oh, that's bullshit. And, and the, the trolleys take up about half a metre on each side. So if you're going that's up stupid. and down with, two, with a lot of people trying to find all these orders, which people are because mm. there's, at last count, 400 pick orders come through. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, no. Because it's not just essentials anymore. It's essentials and decor. Well, that's Which stupid why? because everyone's everyone's at home, so loads of people are going to be doing that. I know, yeah. like, <laughs> and it's My like so this... decorating in the kitchen at the moment. So <laughs> this is open to oh, everything before the virus yeah, struck. Yeah. Down. So that's fine. It's fine. Okay, that's right. people who are buying individual tins of paint, or you know, or like a brush. That's just like it's a pure business decision. That hang on a minute, we can make money out of this. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. But it's like you get that end of the scale. And then you get the people who are wanting like 21 sheets of plasterboard. For fuck's sake. They're like 2.4 metres long and like a metre and a half high weighing about 25 kg. Maybe they're building a shelter from coronavirus. <laughs> or like shelter. the people who want... There's somebody who wanted 16 bags of gravel. <laughs> Maybe Why? it's for Malcolm. <laughs> 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 I appreciate that. Ah, uh, and it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Go away. Do something but else then, with your time. <laughs> but then, because there's only like three people out in the car park sourcing out who has what and what order, what their names are. Everybody's having to wait around a lot, so they're getting restless and getting annoyed. Hmm. And then our system goes down, so we can't actually search for the orders. Huh. So oh, then we gosh. have to go out to them manually and see what they got, and then we have to go back, check in the sto- check in the storage area, see if it's actually been picked, and if it hasn't, then we have to go and get the damn thing. Oh, and these a lot of these people are people who have only had the confirmation that the order has been received, not that it's been picked. So you've got people uh, coming up going, oh yeah. yeah, this is my order number, I haven't got an email saying it's been picked, well, I'm here anyway. It's like, well, if, it, if you haven't home. had a confirmation email saying it's ready, then what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> God, some people are so idiots. Like, I swear, just bring one up person the- ha- only had a PayPal receipt. <laughs> oh I'm like, God. what are you doing? <laughs> I paid. 
<laughs> yes, no. congratulations, you paid. But what have you paid for? I don't know. Well, go away then. <laughs> Service is absolute, what I paid for, Richard. <laughs> you absolute waste of oxygen. Go away. <laughs> go home. <laughs> go uh, home and stay there. Oh, you Think about what absolute you've done. time vampire. Just oh. piss off. So, uh, furlough looking pretty attractive then, is it? Yeah, the oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, not like, it's gotten to the point with my mental health where I've legitimately wanted to get the virus rather than work there. Oof. Oh my god. That's not good. That's not good. That sort of like puts into perspective how unpleasant it is to work there at the moment. If, if the, virus the thing was... is, it's not the job itself that is okay. grinding me down. It's the fact People. that it's... The novelty of not doing the normal thing has worn off. Hmm. Yeah. You know, it, it isn't just a, oh, we've got to do things differently now. It's a case of like, okay, we're doing things differently. This is probably going to be the way it's going to be from, from now on. And this isn't working. <laughs> it doesn't work the way we're doing it, but we're Wait, not going to be changing it up. Why? I said, if you have to change it or shut down because no one... <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like... 400 pick orders we don't have enough trolleys if you get say 70 orders come through of people wanting like massive sheets of wood or plasterboard or things like that or timber we don't have enough trolleys for that and if the people who have ordered it don't pick it up immediately like we have orders there from the start of the week that nobody is coming to pick up and it's just taking up space and trolleys and time and effort and it's just like if you're not going to pick it up we should have, like, a time on it. If you don't pick it up within three days, it goes back on the shelf and you get refunded. Because if you are wasting our time with doing this stuff in a, in a situation where you should not be leaving the house unless it is essential, yeah. if you're just fucking with us by buying these things and then not coming to pick them up, it's clearly not essential, so it should go back on the shelf. Sorry, I, this has been a rant that has been building up in me for about a week and a half now. And it is just <laughs> it all so, it all sounds very sensible. I can't I I have to agree with it all. Um A great comedy right there, hope, real talk. Um I just hope you're uh, making this clear to your supervisors <laughs> as well. I haven't had a bloody um, chance. Yeah. Because the thing is if they if they're getting if they're getting moaned at all the time by uh by the staff on the floor, then they'll be moaning to their bosses saying the staff can't cope with this and then it'll you know, it might it might uh, make a difference. I mm. might have to make an official notice to the uh, to the heads to the heads of to the managers, basically say, "Look, this is driving me down. I can only imagine how it's doing for other people." I just had an image just... of a load of um, like heads in jars, like in Futurama, just sat in a in a chamber. <laughs> like we are the heads of B and Q. <laughs> <laughs> I am B. He is Q. <laughs> This is Ampersand, um, here's our dog. So maybe we, we, should, maybe we should bleep out where you work to protect your identity. That's like a good one, actually, yeah. <laughs> I've said it before on the here. <laughs> oh, yeah. This would have retroactively go back and bleep out the other podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Will you find out, you say, all day today is Friday, you find out Monday, then if you're going to get... Yeah, or not. which means I've still got to deal with Sunday. Bloody Sunday. However, if I do get furloughed, I've got plenty of things I could be doing. <laughs> That's good. Such as, um, um, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> thinking of things to do. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's editing you know thing, videos. Oh, <laughs> I've that that's in Alex's ballpark. That is, oh, god, no, okay. don't, like, don't fucking talk about editing at the moment. I swear to god, I've I've given you three uh, things to do, <laughs> right? Okay, I'll tell you what's going on with editing at the moment. I am literally oh. ready to give up at this point because I'm so fucking just done with editing. Everyone at the moment is like, can you edit this? Can you edit this? And I'm just like, fuck off. I have a fucking queue at the moment of people. Like my sister, oh, can you edit this? Can you edit it for tonight? Distract. Or can you edit this for tomorrow? My mum, could you edit this for me? I'm like, fuck off. I can pay me. <laughs> now, aren't you glad I turned down when you offered to edit stuff for me? Yes, I am. Mm. Um, I'll but edit I... my own stuff for a little while, Alex. No, no, it's fine. Like, you said to me <laughs> before, like, fuck off, I'm paying me. No, no, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you said to me before, like, oh, don't worry. Like, you know, take your time, which is fine because that's what I'm doing at the moment because I, oh, yeah. I am so stressed with just editing stuff. They keep doing What's this, that about it? your sister and your mum wanting you to edit stuff as well? Uh, so my gran is worried for some reason that the kids are going to suddenly have a growth spurt or something when she's in quarantine, which is <sighs> fair. Like I can kind of get that in a sense because she's she's alone. 
Um, mm-hmm. So Kat wants to Kat's about doing like mini uh, sort of weekly vlogs or something to sort of keep grandma in the loop and stuff and want me to edit it for, for them. Get, get them to have better to camera that. discipline so it doesn't need editing. No, I, <laughs> I was know, right? say, I thought the whole point of a vlog was, is it, was that it's not supposed to be edited or is, or is this like the 2016 version of vlogging where it's edited? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's going to be different stuff. It's going to be like cat and the kids and all that and like, you know, sort of keep my grandma in the loop what's going on. And that's fine. And then Kat was like, oh, can you do it? And then mum wants me to make her a music video. And I'm just like... Just, uh, no. <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just sort of like a bit sort of like just done with editing. And now, you get in, now you're in the boat where I was a couple of months ago. You get burned out, yeah. Oh my God, you get burned out so quick. That's why I haven't uploaded anything in about a month. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't upload anything in three years. <laughs> But I do have wow. about five videos ready to upload. I'm just waiting until I've got more, and then I can slowly upload them whilst editing the next one. <laughs> yeah. Smart. Mm. I think. Um, I've been playing Pokemon Sword. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's edited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really I edit it. Why is Galaxy Quest in my in my footage folder? Um, did I give you Galaxy Quest yeah, on my hard drive? Oh, you did, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, did I lend uh, you the DVD? No, uh, no, you just, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, because I copied it off when um, uh, when we did Bridge Crew, didn't I? Yeah, I copied it off, ripped it <clears throat> legally. I mean, um, I added yeah, you to my Netflix thing, account. <laughs> no, I, I copied off the DVD, wasn't it? Um, are you allowed to do that? Yeah, I guess you are. Yeah, yeah, you bought it. There's yeah. wreck on this story. <laughs> <laughs> There's con this threat. Uh, that thing, it really does annoy me. Like, um, you could buy a DVD or buy a computer game or something and mm. and just lend it to someone. Or when you finished it and you're like, oh, I'm never going to play that again, you could give it to someone. Um, yeah. It's a shame it doesn't really exist anymore. That's why, like, if there's something <laughs> I really, really like, you know, like with Doctor Who, Dragon Ball, Digimon, I always get it on DVD or find yeah. some other way of getting it. I try and get it on DVD if possible. But <laughs> Digimon, just, prefer... Digimon wasn't yeah. on DVD for, uh-huh. for ages, yeah. Because like, if you if you just rely on subscription services, there's no guarantee that you're ever going to, always going to be able to see it. Which is just, I yeah, just think it's exactly. like, when you, yeah. you buy something, it's yours. <laughs> mm. yeah. I'm just old fashioned and prefer having the physical copy of anything. So I'd still <laughs> rely on D. I'd still rather have a DVD over a digital it's, Apparata. it's good from yeah. a collector's point of view isn't it definitely same oh, yeah. reason same same reason i, I like definitely. i like books i buy i buy analog books rather than digital ones because ah, okay. you know I, people are oh it's just nicer having the feel of a book isn't it and people say and i think no not really i just like having the books <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. yeah that's 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 why i like having like physical games because when i finished it i can trade it in and get a new one that's exactly what i did with um uh, Link's Awakening. I finished it. Cool. I'm done with this. Trade it, and I got Yu Gear from it. Yeah. Now, see, I, I'm in a place now where I don't like to get rid of anything like that. Yeah. Because much. there have been things that I've wanted that I remember giving away, like all my like my Digimon Prima guide and all my Pokemon yeah. guides and things like that that I gave away because I was finished with them and I wasn't playing those games anymore. And now I really want them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and so I'm, yeah. I'm in the position now where I'm just like, nope, I've finished it. I'll just put it on the shelf and it'll live there forever. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> me. But I realized that when I was about 15, mm. because that's when I started getting back into stuff I had gotten out of originally. And I was like, uh, oh, fuck, yeah. I don't have any of my Metabot stuff anymore. or I don't have any of my Beyblades anymore. So I've had to recollect stuff over the years. And it's like, nope. I'm just gonna hoard it all now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. my my bedroom looks like Trash Mountain on a good day, <laughs> but at least there's not a pile of shit at the top of it. At least I assume yeah. not. <laughs> uh, well, you haven't been to the top. Oh, <laughs> that there is a really top. Odd. <laughs> <laughs> there's a top, but no one's seen it. Uh, you only at the you only get to the top when you hit rock bottom. Is that it? Something like that. <laughs> well, when you want to rock and roll. Ah, yes. Or when you are the Colosseum. I'm really lost. Uh-huh. You're the top. Uh, You're the Colosseum. No one's going to get you down. No. Yes. <laughs> There's too many songs. Top styles. <laughs> I'll piss off with your top styles. <laughs> Sorry, rival firm. <laughs> yeah, they're down the road from us as well. <laughs> um, oh. I imagine... 
uh, they they come to like invade your place uh, to try and take you over but they arrive like you know in the wrong trousers where um gromit is really quickly laying down tracks before the train goes over <laughs> they're putting the, the tiles yeah yeah <laughs> jesus <laughs> okay <laughs> Um, uh, sorry, quickly jumping yes. back to... Uh, did I mention about the uh, about our rival company? What, Top Styles? Last time? No, 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 no. Um, Homebase. Uh, bleep, out, ble- uh, bleep out their name, please. Can't even remember what their <laughs> name is. It's not us, but it's um, one of our competitors. I think it's... Bleep that out, please. Yes. Uh, I believe that they laid off... Uh, I think it was like three or five hundred members of staff. Wow, what dicks. Yeah. Why do you need to bleep that out? Is it like a state secret? The intelligence. Well, no, I, I don't know how public that is. Yeah, that's what I meant. Work yeah. out a rival of B and Q's and find out which rival of B and Q's have laid off I mean, this many people. To be fair, I've yeah. never heard of that shop. So no, no, no. But <laughs> I, I believe it's that. I don't because I, it may not be them. I don't know. Right. That's why I want it bleeped. Oh, it could uh, be libel. They, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because uh, so last popular. time I heard, <laughs> last time I heard, they had laid off about five hundred members of staff rather mm. than do the government scheme. That's pretty shit. Mm. Yeah. Because it doesn't even cost them any extra. No. Maybe it's admin like, and, time. Yeah, and Cineworld, when this thing first started, they laid off all the uh, staff members who had been there more than a year. Yeah. What? So they didn't... Yeah, oh, because, because they got higher they're... wages, because they've been there longer. Yeah, and they didn't have to Holy do sick pay. shit. Oh. <laughs> well, they, they had like to do a trial pay. Pay. Been period thing. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. So uh, they have since gone back on that. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone is now getting the 80 percent pay. However, still doesn't change the fact that they did it in the first place. So mm. never set in Cine- set in foot in Cineworld again. Yeah, I can't imagine people will be looking for other people will be looking for other jobs yeah. pretty soon. I imagine. And can we all just give a, like a, a bond that we're never going to go into a Weatherspoons ever again? Oh, I was never going oh, anyway because yeah. of the Brexit thing. But yeah, Look definitely. Oh yeah. yeah, I think I've only ever been once anyway, and that was well, years ago. <laughs> he is re- the owner of Weatherspoons is refusing to pay any of his staff. Or his breweries yeah. until the government pays him first, and um, he actually encouraged his employees to get jobs at Tesco. <laughs> Fucking yeah, asshole. was it with something like if you don't uh, like it, get a job at Tesco or something like that, wasn't it? There's yeah. literally a video of him somewhere. I haven't seen it. Yeah, literally. Yeah. This is what is known as an example of an A grade cunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, S rank cunt. Oh, srank. Yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> is uh, srank. And he supported Brexit as well, which just <laughs> of makes him... Of course he did, he's a billionaire, why wouldn't he? That, that puts him up from an A rank to an F. I mean, I will say, I mean, I don't agree with Brexit, but I don't... I think supporting it was not the problem. The problem was putting beer mats out on his tables that just had, like, flat-out yeah. lies about it on there. Mm. Yeah, that's um, what I have problems with. Well. I was reading someone yesterday, actually, about um, the European Commission, how they're dragging their feet over Hungary, which we can talk about if you haven't heard of it. Um, What's going on? I'll come to it in a second. Um, okay. <laughs> but like, it, it's basically, they everyone wants to kick Hungary out of the EU, basically, or suspend them. Um, right. And But the, the, the European grouping of parties that the Hungary's ruling party belongs to isn't getting kicked out because if they did that, they would have fewer seats in the European Parliament, Parliament which means they would get fewer ministers allocated to them. So like, it's all down to sort of this sort of backroom politics kind of thing rather than what's what's yeah. the right thing to do and what they should be doing which and i was thinking that is actually a genuine reason to not like the eu and to think we should leave um mm. i don't agree that we should leave based on things like that but it's a genuine reason and there are genuine reasons but the problem is most people voted to leave based on lies on lies <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah anyway it's ridiculous 350 million a week we're looking pretty good for the nhs right about now wouldn't yeah. it I'd, all the clapping thing has been winding me up as well because I, oh, I, I think like you know you could just consistently vote for parties that haven't strangled the yeah. funding and tried to sell it off and pass things yeah. that makes it easier to sell like it off but, you know. sorry yeah I finished oh the people <laughs> who vote Tory and now the heart. ones like oh we should clap the NHS like go fuck yourself like you know don't, if don't, you don't didn't clap. vote for them you can't clap for them yeah don't clap actually you know vote. don't clap for them fucking pay them more that's what mm. they deserve mm. yeah who would have yeah, thought it would take only three months for Corbyn to be proved right? Oh, yeah. It was it. The, um... Sorry. Do you something else? No. <clears throat> what was I fucking saying? Okay, I can't, it's got my head now. <laughs> Never mind. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> something momentarily pops into your head and you forget entirely what was being said here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Hungary. Hungary, Hungary, Hungary. Hey, I mean, <laughs> there we go. Let me open this. Thing. I was going to make that joke and nobody else did. 
So the um, the prime minister, I think he is, or whatever he is, of uh, of, of Hungary, Viktor Orban, mm. um, leads a kind of a populist right wing party who is massively popular as well. It's not like he's kind of taken power for a coup or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I said the name, I guess, didn't I? <laughs> um, so because he has a majority in the parliament. They've used the uh, the coronavirus crisis to pass an act giving him emergency powers. Oh dear, that's it, never a good sign. And it grants a state of emergency with no time limit. It Shit. allows him to rule by decree, so he can just Shit. say this is the law now, and it is the law. Um, it's suspended parliament with no date given for future elections. And spreading fake news or rumours about the coronavirus equals five years in prison. But... The actual text of the law is, because they've said, said that it's like fake news and rumours and such, but the text of the law is, if you report things in a way that hinders or blocks the defensive measures, so it's effectively a way of saying, if you criticise the government, they can throw because the government's responding to it, they can throw you in prison for five years. Wow, fucking mm. dictator. Mm. So it's essentially gone back to draconian time. Yeah. Or um, like 15th century Britain. Yeah. So, um, and then this other thing I've saved here is the first day, which was two days ago, of his rule by decree, these are the laws that he made to <laughs> help... of the first day. Yeah. These Sorry. are the laws that will help, that help Hungary beat the coronavirus. Mm. Um, city mayors are no longer to make any... Are no longer have any power to make any decisions about running their cities. Um, the employment and public administration courts, so just like sort of like civil courts, have all been suspended and taken away. Um, it's illegal to legally change your sex now. Um, what? Sales. <laughs> um, and the police are able to access your tax records without a warrant. Jeez. So that's that, that. That'll help the coronavirus fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a case of right. We've got these things. Let's do whatever we want. Yeah, I mean, he's Emperor Palpatine at the moment because he is he he is immensely popular and he's got this he's got this power by entirely legal means you know they were all that's elected scary. officials they all voted yeah. for it to happen that's scary though like mm. the fact that he has managed to do this legally that's fucking terrifying it's a bit like hitler isn't it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what's Gross. that law that how you know there's a, a conversation online when i go a certain length before it jumps to hitler <laughs> oh the hitler equation no nah, it's called something else like moore's law or something but it's not moore's law because that's something else <clears throat> i know what you mean uh that is more than a little bit terrifying. Godwin's law. <laughs> Godwin's law. So yeah, um, that's hungry. So that that's why they want to kick him out. So like the leaders of all the the part, they're part of the European People's Party in the European Parliament, um, and the leaders of that party in almost every other EU country except the ones who are friends with Hungary um, have written to the uh, to Donald Tusk saying. You need to suspend him. <laughs> you need to suspend yeah. that party from your party because the party is not party to our party QLR way of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely saved. There ain't no party like an S club party. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what does the S stand for? <laughs> Satan. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually. I don't know why that one tickled me. <laughs> um, hang on. There is literally a website that says that. It's one of my favorite websites. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Since the dawn of man, true evil had surrounded us, lurking in the darkness like a dark lurking thing, ready to pounce on any poor, unsuspecting, innocent fool who stumbled blindly into its path. The lord and master of this, of this domain goes by many names. Beelzebub, <laughs> the dark lord, the fallen one, Santa, names. and of course, the beast. Oh. But today... As we fast approach the 20th century, evil yeah. has Wait, taken 20th. not one. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. But seven new names, and lo, <gasps> the they seven, be. The seven heads of the beast. It all makes sense. Sorry, go on. Tina, John, Paul, <laughs> Hannah, Bradley, Rachel, Joe. <laughs> I suddenly realised where they're getting this from. The beast does have seven <laughs> heads. Okay, you're right, okay. Not since Black Ten Sabbath, crowns. or possibly Mar Mary Lou Manson, has the name of a so-called Pop group <laughs> struck so much fear into the heart and soul of decent people, double period. We here at CIBPP, Morality and Decency Department, have been extensively studying the S. Aiton, 
Bub Seven's demonic rise to fame and our dismay have discovered some terrible and evil things we feel the world should be aware of. <gasps> Jesus Christ. I think that's enough. <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, What's the S Club Smellometer? The what? <laughs> talking about that. That's that's a reptile guy. That, that the S Club, Club Smellometer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Hannah smells of. Is that is she on Mum Roll On or Jism? I can't tell. Uh, I it's not very good. Like halfway, I think I think it goes to like the top of the head. So I think she's on uh, Mum Roll On. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tina's odor free. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> um. So in genuinely though, apparently the S stands for Simon. <laughs> Okay. Really? Because the group was founded by Simon Fuller from Polydor Records. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I just want to point out I just want to say these these three like um the headers at the top of the web yeah. of the webpage. <clears throat> S Club 7, the truth is out there. S Club 7, evil has a new name. Be afraid, be very afraid. And my personal favorite, <clears throat> S Club 7. More evil than a giraffe who's eaten more leaves than it should, so that other giraffes may die. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's like it's like Hypercube, but less less actually mad. <laughs> like it's you know it's I think you can tell it's not like a joke. Yeah, it is a joke. Whereas not Hypercube, Time Cube. Sorry, Time Cube seemed like a joke, but then it was actually just someone with serious <laughs> mental issues, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> Um, what else has been going on this week oh um matt lucas has rewritten and re-recorded the baked potato song from shooting stars to uh, oh my god he ha has he he has I'd post that in the chat post haste i'll i'll chat it in the haste post post <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> i think i got all the words there a few moments later that made my day <laughs> not gonna lie that has cheered me up no end Hang on. Sorry, I've, I was, uh, so hmm? I, I've just been. I've, I was just reading, um, seeing if there was any more news about Hungary. Mm -hmm. The Hungarian Ministry of Justice has added right. its name to the statement calling, uh, condemning the the state of emergency that's been called in Hungary and calling Ooh. for Hungary, the Hungarian People's Party, to be suspended. Or wow. no, they're, they're called Hungarian People's Party. Sorry, I'm thinking of the European People's Party. They're called Fidesz. Mm. Right. So. so Hungary is condemning Hungary and asking for Hungary to be suspended. <laughs> Wait, the country so asking for the country to be suspended. Yes. Um, it's, it's okay. just a bit confusing. But, right, I was <laughs> the thing is, like, <laughs> even if they're suspended, that's not going to stop all the things that they're doing. Yeah, that's true. No. Um, if anything, it that will... would make it even worse because that would give them no oversight. It would give them an enemy as well. Exactly, yeah. Um, well, I mean, being kicked out of the EU ain't the worst thing in the world. I mean, well, uh, dictators are in right now. You got Erdogan in, uh, in Turkey. You got Putin in Russia. You got Trump. He's not a dictator. Uh, he's just a... Oh, dickhead. sorry, no, he's just a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just a stupid, <laughs> sh stupid piece of shit. <laughs> um, and then you got uh, the toupee that fell off the top of uh, Trump's head, Boris Johnson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, there's the lord of all dictators, uh, Xi Jinping, who, you know, if you want a dictator, yep. that's how you do it. <laughs> uh, got a, is, got, don't got, you mean Winnie the Pooh? Got an ethnic group who are not conforming to strictly defined rules about what you believe your citizens should be doing just re-educate them it's easy you know it worked for history you can do it too with can do with can do yep. <laughs> <laughs> um it's honestly really shocking how little was made of the whole Uyghur re-education camps thing in uh yeah. in other other countries because i mean they Sorry. were yeah anyway <laughs> going happening? off of the xi jinping thing just i just i just like this just sounds like a Pokemon name. Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping. yeah. yeah. <laughs> he does have a somewhat amazing resemblance to Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> China would like to know your location. <laughs> <laughs> right here, fucking take me. Oh, let's, no, let's, say, let's say the Chinese Communist Party. Let's be fair to 
<laughs> the people. <laughs> so Richard is posting pictures in the chat of uh, Xi Jinping next to Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Entirely unrelated no, 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 no. pictures. No, no, no. It's two pictures of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> sorry let me just put my glasses back on they've fallen off my face because i was so shocked <laughs> <laughs> my eyes popped out on stalks and pushed them off <laughs> oh that's nasty oh actually, i do have two bits of corona oh related oh. news in oh. or two basic two different people who have broken the quarantine for mm. two different we we reasons the first one is someone who broke it to hunt Pokemon. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Who's still playing that fucking game? <clears throat> uh, I've given up. I started playing that game. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did for like a week. <laughs> and the other one, a man took out his rubbish and thought he could be sly about it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, see, I see that, that, was in, that was in Spain, wasn't it? I fucking love that video. Yeah. <laughs> that cracks me up. I mean, a ten out of ten for style, but minus several million for good thinking. You know? Yeah. Oh, it's making me. It's making me turn off my ad blocker, so I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> Gen- generally, like I do, like twitching off the ad blocker on sites that I that I like. And if it's the 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 main thing that will make me not switch an ad blocker off is when the site is just shit, and it's <laughs> it's it's clearly full of frames and iframes and JavaScript and trackers and ads, and I just think, do you know what? Make a better fucking website, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I switch I switch this on. It's not just about adverts. It's not like I'm gonna I want to take all that revenue away. It's just like I want to load this website without it taking five minutes and things popping up at me all the time, and you know. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> it's like, if your webpage is the f- visual equivalent of cancer, I'm not going to go on it. Yeah. Yes. When I it always says, turn off your ad blocker and you look at it in the background behind the pop-up and you think, well, there's a, there's a, bit, of, there's a bit of script. There's something that's going to move five inches when I scroll down the page. And, yeah, no, forget it. I'm just not going to your site. <laughs> yeah. Just, just no. Biscuits, but I oh. know, well, are we doing personal biscuits or is this just like, uh, well, I started cross-stitching as a hobby. Hey, very nice. well. Uh, uh, what? Good. What? In? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, cross stitching. Oh, okay. I thought you said I'm you stumbled a... across stitching, and I said, <laughs> "What's stitching? <laughs> Do you mean no, sewing?" I'm making a, <laughs> yeah. making a little uh, a moment. film from about 2005. Was it? I think. Needle yeah. and stitching. Yeah. 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 Stitch. No, yeah, I'm stitch making a little in, octopus. Yeah. Um, oh. And is, I wrote so some. Is cross stitching the one where you've got like the little frame and you? Yeah. It's the thing you stab about 10,000 yeah, times yeah, yeah, to get something out of it, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a nice little hobby. Um, well, so You've been doing TikTok as well? TikToks. Oh yeah, I've been making some like stupid videos on TikTok. I literally, I, I used to like be like, oh, TikTok was stupid. Like, oh, was, I'd never do that and think it's all for kids and stuff. And then I was like, oh, okay, I'm bored in quarantine. I'll download it. Holy shit, it's hilarious. Do you have to do it in order or can you edit it on the app? No, no, you could just do it from your camera roll edit it in Adobe Premiere and just upload it on the app. That's what I do. Oh, right. Okay. I, I can't stand the editing thing in the app. It drives me crazy. So um, I just edit it on Adobe Premiere and I'm like, all right, fine, I'll, I'll upload it. Then you can, up, you can upload it from your computer? Yeah, I just send it to myself on Messenger and I just download it. And oh, upload it that's on, cool. On the app. Um, that standard size one I checked today got about 400 views. Nice. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> If you um, turn into a TikTok celebrity, can you make sure you shout out the podcast, please? <laughs> of course, yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't plan to become a celebrity. I don't want to do that. I'm just doing it for fun. I'm so, not. Yeah. I, want, I want an audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sick of TikTok. I just got a notification. Oh. 16 other people liked your videos. Eh? Okay, cool. Oh. Stupid videos. Um, yeah. and, and what was oh, else? Like no, that's, that? I think that's it. Ray. Anyone else? Um, no, I am now. <laughs> biscuitless. I don't have time to have any biscuits. <laughs> I mean, I did. Hopefully by next week you will. Oh, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I did wonder yesterday whether the little own brand digest chocolate digestives are actually McVitie's digestives, just unbranded. That was. That was. <laughs> I believe they are. Related. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like uh, with like hula hoops and like uh, something else that's similar to hula hoops. They're just in the same. Fr- they're from the same factory. They're just different packaging. Mm. They got yeah. Neos, which are apparently meant to be Oreos. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Some other excellent uh, ones are Borneo and O2. 
Oh, <laughs> the riff, riff-offs of uh, oh, that Borneo is a great one. Genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be proud of that if I'd come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my nun's been telling me about this power cut. Yeah. And then she, and I, I, I Googled it and on. it's like, it's one power company in the east of England is saying really? there is might be a, there might be a power cut if we lose Fact lots sake. of staff. If, if, if. <laughs> It's like one company in one location may be reporting a thing which yeah, could happen. Exactly. Yeah. And pretty ev- much. every other company, including the National Grid themselves, have said, no, we we plan for things like this. There's literally no chance of it happening. We have a really stable infrastructure. <laughs> Losing engineers <laughs> course, doesn't make the energy disappear. <laughs> no, I know. And, and then my <laughs> mum's still sending me things saying, oh, make sure you've got a power pack and things. And like, I like, know, no. that's what my mum's been saying. She's like, you've got a torch, have you got candles? And I'm just like, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> and yeah, I'm using this to like... buy food. I can't give you it back unless you want my shit. Pretty much, yeah. Ooh. If it comes true, then fine. Yeah, I will admit I'm wrong, but I'm just but like, I highly doubt it. Yeah, we're going to look really stupid yeah. in a month when there's power cuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've got an hour just fiddling our thumbs like, in the dark with candles. Do you really think Four with candles. the amount of power that is required to keep the NHS running, that they would actually let something like that happen? True, true. That's exactly. It's not, it's not energy that it. runs the NHS. They just put a couple of junior doctors on a treadmill every night. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, you a little whip. <laughs> Just a thousand hamsters in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> no, they just, it's just cat nuns breeding humans yeah. below. <laughs> and using them as batteries, like the, like yeah. in the Matrix. <laughs> Crossing the streams there. <laughs> Ooh. Side cool. biscuit, uh, oh. Red Dwarf on Thursday. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I've been watching like a, like a load of the behind the scenes documentaries. It's actually been really interesting. <laughs> like, <I'm> like, <laughs> The I craziness the that around season one was just like, oh my uh, god. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that recommended to me a few times. Should I, should I watch yeah. that? <laughs> like the whole hour long one. No, it's absolutely mm. worth it. Yeah. Okay. The one, it's like the one with um Craig Charles on the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, We've it, always it obviously just been watching Red Dwarf videos after the last podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, because it, it was recommended to me after we watched the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like it was pretty fascinating about how like they've basically I, I, I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. Watch the documentary. <laughs> okay. But um, oh, what was it? Uh, I've also been watching a a YouTube channel, um, Full Fat Productions. I think it is. Full Fat. They basically do. Yeah. No, I've seen that recommended a few times as well. <laughs> yeah, they do video essays on Doctor Who and stuff like that. Um, I think I started watching one of them, but he said that something was really bad, and I completely disagreed. And I was like, "No, I can't watch this video." <laughs> <laughs> I started but watching uh, my film. Oh, is there any good? Uh, I've I've seen what I've only watched the first episode. I'm, I I like it. I'm Sorry, watching what? Sorry, Life on Mars. Life. I thought I thought that was what you said because Ray mentioned to me that. He'd mentioned yeah, to you so about it. The scene that I sent him, I was like, I have no idea how I want Mark, how Marcus would react to this. So I basically wrote whatever. And he was like, okay, well, think of him like this and, and him like the characters in Life of Mars. And I was like, I've never seen that. Oh, okay. And he was like, well, you should go watch it. Well, a, like, bit, okay. a bit like Gene Hunt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, it, was, it was basically, before we started doing reactions, that was kind of like a prequel to me and Ray doing reactions. But it was just us sat watching Life on Mars together. <laughs> okay and then we started like ashes to ashes but we never finished it but now they're going to be making a third series of life on mars there are they Wait, what apparently shut up okay even um, i know that's a big deal i also watch a mandalorian as well we're on episode three now oh mandalorian is amazing right left it's yoda is so cute oh. baby yoda no <laughs> so he's so officially called mem- the unnamed member of yoda species okay the yeah, child he, he is officially called the child which is interesting the child is very cute it's not that interesting it's, get... just, it's just what you... what he is isn't it <laughs> yeah you can but... get a decoration of baby yoda for sims 4 and it's part Christ. of the official sims 4 stuff well of i course. need that <laughs> but the thing is like it's the fact that they're not calling him baby yoda is interesting well, so which implies it implies that it isn't Yoda. But it obviously isn't Yoda. Well, yeah, it's not Yoda. Mm. <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> also, Christian. Um, yes. Sorry, I try to say this without giving away spoilers to Alex. Um, the thing, the person that appears in the final two episodes. Yeah. The reason he wanted the thing 
kind of makes more sense when you take Rise of Skywalker into consideration. Oh, I don't follow, I'm afraid. Okay, so the main thing about Rise of Skywalker is Palpatine, right? Yeah. Oh, so he and... wants... Palpatine wants the thing. No, 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 no. Um... Oh, the, the other thing. <laughs> yeah. The other dude, um, Gus. Yeah. Gus wants the, the child. Y yes. For what reason? I don't know. <laughs> if it's a clone of Yoda, four sensitive clone. Oh yeah, okay. It's laying the groundwork for Palpatine. Research going purposes. Back. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I didn't. I. That I, I, I didn't think it was a clone. Like, well, no, it could. But it, but could it be. might be. Yeah. If yeah. it is a clone, then that would pave the way for that being a thing. I wonder if they have decided um, what the deal is with with uh, with Baby Yoda as he as he is known. Or whether they've, it's like a thing where they just thought, well, that'd be a cool device, plot device. Uh, given how interconnected the MCU is, I have a feeling they know what the hell yeah, they're that's doing. that's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, also, so, do you remember the uh, cancelled, uh, the, the original script for episode nine was leaked? I didn't know that, but okay. <laughs> no, uh, Colin Trevorrow's original version. Somebody oh. has uh, Mr. Sunday Movies, who I've actually been watching before this, uh, did, did a little animatic on oh, it. Oh, sweet. So they did like Aww. a basic summary of it, and the animation style is amazing. So I before you said that, before I watch it later on tonight, um, mm. in a word, how does it compare yeah. to this episode nine we got? Can I do it in a sentence instead? Yes, if you say it really quickly. Follows on better from Last Jedi. Okay, I guess that makes sense because it was the original plan. They must must yeah yeah. Okay. In a word, it would be satisfying. Okay. You know, it, it just it just feels more Star Warsy. y Oh, man. It makes me sad knowing what happened to that sequel trilogy. <laughs> oh, my God. They had such a good opportunity yeah. to make it good. Oh, well. Hit happens. So we are planning three films. We have an opportunity to create an incredible overarching story nah. that can change... Nah, just so give each film to a different person and just make them all independent. <laughs> Which is where they completely failed. Yeah. Like, I have never seen a series take a nosedive so dramatically. I remember coming out of the cinema and um and just like after after um after the Force Awakens, I was like, oh, that's great. And there was someone from my work who was also there, uh, unbeknownst to me. I only bumped into him afterwards, and he was crying. <laughs> and I was like, "This is amazing!" Right. And because, then... oh, sorry. Yeah. And then after Last Jedi, I was like, "Hmm, I don't think I liked that." But I watched it again. And I watched it again. And I went, "No, I didn't like that." <laughs> um, and then after Rise of Skywalker, I just went, "Well, I saw that, and I'll just get on with my day." <laughs> <laughs> It was honestly like the highlight. I know I've got the high, this point. Highlight of that day was buying some slippers from uh, from the from, <laughs> from the mall. Pretty, See, I, this pretty is, shit, isn't it? <laughs> I I know I've gone over this point so many times, but the Rise of Skywalker kind of has the same problems as the Timeless Child. Yeah, in that. In that. Go on. It it so the whole thing that made the Doctor one of and made Ray such a, a powerful character was the fact that these people came from nothing. There was nothing special about them until they made themselves special. Yeah. The Doctor was a nobody who then decided they had enough of time or society and ran away and did great things because of it. Because of it. Ray was a nobody who just happened to have force abilities and got thrown into the middle of the story and became an amazing Jedi because of it. Episode 9 was like they heard some people go, Ugh. In uh, Last Jedi, how come it wasn't Lando in the who was the the gambler, and how come this person hadn't been in it, and that person hadn't been in it, and they went, oh, you want people to be in it? Have everyone, have literally everything. Like try to please everyone, yeah. and basically end up pleasing no one. Yeah, episode nine, like episode nine, did an amazing thing by uniting the fans of Force Awakens and Last Jedi into <laughs> yeah. hating the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But it's just like Ray was such a powerful role model for young girls and for just people everywhere that you didn't need to be special you don't need to be born into power you don't need to be given these things as a birthright you can come from nothing and achieve greatness you can be nobody and then become somebody through your own actions 
But instead, episode nine said, uh, no, unless you're actually related to somebody who's powerful already, you're nothing. Yeah. You know, it's just like, because in the end, it wasn't the son of, the grandson of Darth Vader versus nobody. It was the grandson of Darth Vader versus the grandson of Emperor Palpatine. It's just like, who gives a shit about that? I don't care about that. I want to have the person that I can relate to. You know, if Rey can be nobody and have these amazing force powers, then so can I, you know? Which is what The Last Jedi was going for, wasn't it? Exactly, which... Which is why I love The Last Jedi. I love The Last Jedi for the way that it turned the formula around. People hated it because it was so different. But that's why I loved it. Because as soon as Luke throws away that lightsaber at the beginning, you have no idea what's going to happen. I think uh, it, being cannot, diff- it, it, be, just, it being different is, is not so much the issue, I don't think. It's just the... It was just kind of... It was. It almost felt disrespectful to 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 How the so? to the franchise. Well, like Luke Skywalker throwing his lightsaber away and, and just being a knob. <laughs> and I mean, uh, th- for me, the lightsaber throwing away wasn't so much him being a dick. It was him proving that a lightsaber a Jedi does not make. I mean, that's clutching at straws, <laughs> really. That's not how but it was, it's also was presented like, in the film. I guess the the whole theme of Last Jedi is failure. Nobody wins in the Last Jedi. No, um, the best, the That's best, true. the best thing about the Last Jedi was the the contrast you had between um, a, a a bad man who's struggling with being pulled to the light side and um, the proper bad man. Yeah, and <laughs> and and the good girl who's not being good, <laughs> um, and. The best, honestly, the best thing about that whole trilogy was just Kylo and, and Ray's sort of, you know, arguments. <laughs> yeah, but again, it's like the whole fact that Ray decided, "Oh no, I'm a Jedi now." It's like, no, just what's You're wrong Ray. with being in the middle? Time and time again, for the last God knows how many thousands of years, the Jedi and the Sith have been at two diametrically opposed opposites. And it has never brought anything but death and destruction and despair upon the entire universe. Why not, at this turning point where you are the last one left, you are the only person to just just stop all that, to start it all again, start from fresh. You know, the light side is not inherently all good, and the dark side is not inherently all evil. To find a balance in the middle, to find true balance in the Force... How would that not have been a better way to end it? To end this yeah. massive saga yeah, yeah, yeah. of good versus evil, to have someone who combines the best of both. It feels like that was the way they were going with The Last Jedi, to be honest. They kind of right? threw it Anyway, um, we probably we sorry, need to end I, now. I, we'll just, sorry, <laughs> I know. I like Star Wars too. <laughs> um, but, uh, it, it's quite surprising how passionate I can yeah. get over something when I write really get um, into it. But Sorry. Well, yeah, <laughs> sorry, yeah. probably boring Aussie after death. <laughs> we, we all just finished by saying um, Last Jedi had a really terrible plot and it was quite boring. But anyway, so thanks for listening no, to... No, uh, no, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> you thanks, cannot deny thanks for the listening. final fight between Kylo and final fight between Kylo and Luke was amazing. Hello, Christian here from the future. Um, so I actually misheard Rich there. Um, and what I'm saying now, I'm talking about the fight uh, with Kylo and Rey in the throne room against Snoke's guards. But he was talking about the fight between Kylo and Luke. Sorry, Rich. Um, what I said probably didn't make a lot of sense at the time to him. <laughs> hence, hence the confusion. But here we go. It really was when I saw it in the cinema, but then you look at when you see it again, <laughs> you see the choreography and it's fucking stupid. Um it's like the bit yeah. in it's like the bit in the prequel, I can't remember which fight it is specifically, where I think it's Obi Wan and Anakin are swinging their lightsabers at each other, and their lightsabers are actually going nowhere near each other, they're just swinging them around for the sake of it. Um Yeah, because it's a dance. Dance of the face. Yeah. Um anyway. I mean, yes, the choreography was stupid, but look at it. Kylo did not land a hit on Luke, even if he was a projection. Yeah, that was cool. Um, and also, it's just like, they're using the force. Of course, it's not going to look sensible. Um, sorry, sorry, I'm just... No, no, the thing about the fight scene is, 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 a, is, a, is a nitpick. I enjoyed it when I saw it in the, in the cinema. It's only when I've like watched it back afterwards. Um, but... The plot was still stupid overall. <laughs> um, 
and it just yeah i mean i've Canto said bite was an episode of rebels i've, I've said by I've, that. I've said before that, um on this very podcast that they it, the whole film could have been an opening crawl apart from the Canto bite stuff yeah I guess. it was just yeah anyway um yep. digimon world anyway. <laughs> thanks for listening everyone to this episode of an audible if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to tell someone else about it who doesn't already know about it. Um, sometimes the things we say might even be funny, so tune in and you'll, you'll <laughs> might, you might get one of those episodes. It's a lottery, really, isn't it? Um, sometimes we say funny things. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Well, oh, is the Star Wars chat ended? Oh, Ozzy, Ozzy, it's next Friday. <laughs> oh, shit. You've been asleep this whole time. <laughs> Oh no! I've missed an entire podcast! <laughs> Wait. Don't worry, you can hear them all by subscribing to the Inaudible feed and wherever you get your podcasts. Or what? subscribing to Invisible Tower on YouTube, where they all are. Um, and if you like the other well, people's voices, brown. you can subscribe to TS Reactions and or Pheasant Films and mm. or the other one. So, uh, there's also... Cheers. Uh, I'm on Twitch and you can you can follow me there and subscribe to that uh, which is cool because I get money for that <laughs> <laughs> so uh, good luck and godspeed yes. um, may the hands. odds be ever in your favour yes. and may the force be with you stay two metres apart from the force at all times thanks <laughs> bye kill bye. them You don't need fast reaction times for Jackbox anyway, really, do you? Well, no, but I'm just thinking for, like, timers, so... Yeah, but you Depends on how much of a lag there is, so... Candy. Because <laughs> I really don't want to have to get, like, a, a $136 Elgato <laughs> just for lagless connection. Yeah. Legoless connection. Anyway, let's go. Legoless. <gasps> okay. I'm I'm going now. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs>